Bangers unmash, Kim Jong un beams as he visits potato factory. While North Korea's food shortages are blamed for increase in ghost ships washing up in Japan. With his plump hands in the pockets of his double breasted winter coat, Kim Jong un beams as he visits a brand new potato factory in North Korea. Donning his trademark fedora, the despot poses on the gleaming factory floor, in a shed jam packed with potatoes, and in a pristine food shop on the site in Samjiayeon, near the Chinese border. The carefully staged photos, shared with the world by North Korea's state news agency, give the impression the communist state is thriving and sparkling new factories produce an abundance of food. The government boats this one was built in just a month and can produce 4,000 tons of potato starch every year. But the reality is far different, as everyday North Koreans are ravaged by food shortages and are rationed just 300 grams of food a day, equivalent to a packet of hobnob biscuits. It is said that the severe food shortage is forcing desperate fishermen go further and further out to sea to find more food, resulting in many dying and their ships being washed up abroad. In November 28 ghost ship fishing vessels, boats without men, washed up in Japanese waters, the highest monthly number since records began in 2014. Exacerbating the phenomenon is the fact that North Korea has sold fishing rights to China in a bid to raise hard currency forcing fishermen, often sailing rickety vessels, further out towards Japan in search of a catch. There has been a record number of North Korean fishermen rescued alive, 42 this year compared to zero in 2016, but there are still cases of ghost ships packed full of bodies, with 18 corpses recovered so far this year. Japanese authorities say it is often hard to determine exactly how they died as the boats often drift for months before washing up in Japan. Fishermen are desperate to meet annual catch goals, which are elevated to higher levels every year. Toshi meets Sushai Jemuro, professor emeritus of Waseda University and North Korea expert, told AFP. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ordered an increase in fishing when he took power in 2013, analysts noted. Since then, fishermen have been frantically trying to meet annual catch goals. But what's different this year is that they are traveling to distant waters in their fragile boats, said Pyun jin -il, a leading North Korea watcher and writer based in Japan. North Korea last year sold part of its fishing rights in the Yellow Sea to China to get foreign currency, so their fishermen have been kicked out of the western part of their waters, he said. So this year, Kim Jong-un ordered his people in a New Year address to establish a fishing base in the Sea of Japan, Pyun said. Yang Mujin, professor at the University of North Korean Studies in Seoul, concurred, adding, because they can't fish in their own waters, they have to go farther out. North Korea's fishing boats are quite old and they don't have much fuel. So they naturally end up adrift and float into Japan, said Yang. There is also the backdrop of a severe food shortage, partly linked to international sanctions, analysts said. Food rationing has been stepped up with every North Korean person now receiving only 300 grams of food per day, noted Pyun. In order to plug the shortages of staple food like rice and corn, they want to buy from China, but they don't have hard currency to buy food, either, he said. North Korea's foreign reserves have shrunk to one-third of what it held last year because of new rounds of sanctions imposed by the United Nations Security Council. To this year and nine in total, he noted. 